Is there anything greater than to reach for the love of God? I am so thankful, so thankful, so grateful for the unfailing love of God. Last night before I went to bed, I just prayed and asked the Lord to just, you know, remind me of his perfect, unfailing love. A few years ago, he gave me a dream where, you know, he picked me up and took me flying into town, the city, and dropped me under a hedge and um, gave me a Bible and um, a few people walked by and they were mockers of the gospel, mockers of Jesus, and um, one used to go to church, so he was familiar with the word of God. One was smoking his cigarette, and um, but he was humble, but he loved his cigarettes and he loved his sins more than Jesus. God showed that to me. And they both came to me and the mocker said, you must love Jesus because you're so happy. Um, <laughs> so. And the Lord gave me a Bible and I began to lovingly, joyfully, zealously share the gospel with them. And the Lord put his love in my heart for them, like his love, not my love, his fatherly love, the agape, unfailing love of God in my heart. And I just loved on them. I shared the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. And although they rejected God and they rejected his word his love like in the dream my heart was overflowing with love for them regardless if they chose to come to Jesus believe in him or not so last night um, I'm covering my shoulder just in case somebody gets offended because I don't have sleeves on I'm getting ready to go watch Ethan play football um, yeah I've got five minutes so um, some people get offended if they if I don't have a what you might call it um, shirts with sleeves on you know it's offensive but anyways it's hot outside I'm not wearing any sleeves so and we're in Florida and it's hot in Florida and I love it so if it offends you my shoulders offends you please keep scrolling um, and I'll say a prayer for you father in the name of Jesus break that religious spirit off in Jesus name amen and fill every heart including mine with your agape love overflowing for everybody in Jesus name amen all right so um, last night I just asked the Lord I said father please just remind me of your great love for everybody for me that's all I want to remember more than anything so real quickly I just want to share why do we need to remember God loves us regardless of our performance what we do or don't do God loves us whether we choose him or not he loves us he wants us to choose him because those who choose his Christ have abundant life and eternal life with joy peace victory liberty in the Holy Ghost amen we have the kingdom of God abundant life now and eternal life forever with God forever and ever and ever in his paradise that he has created for those who love him so we he wants us to choose him but he's not going to force anybody to choose him um, so anyways I wanted to share uh, the good news with you today before I run off to that hot field to watch my son play all right the love of God is greater for than than tongue or pen can ever tell it goes beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell the guilty pair bowed down with care God gave his son to win his erring child he reconciled and pardoned from his sin the love of God by Frederick M uh, Lehman I think that's what it says I can't find my reading glasses so I think it's Lehman all right so I just wanted to remind you guys regardless of what season you're in what you've done where you're at that God loves you and father is waiting for us to come running into his arms so he could just bless us love us 
and just um, you know pour out his blessings his kingdom blessings his mercy his grace he wants to cleanse us forgive us and restore us and make us whole and you know give us that abundant life that Jesus Christ died to give us amen just want to encourage somebody today um, besides myself <laughs> hallelujah thank you Lord for your love hallelujah <clears throat> here is love not that we loved God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins first John 4 10 thank you Lord thank you thank you I will heal their backsliding I will love them freely for mine anger is turned away from him Hosea 14 4 when we repent confess our sins repent and come back to our God he forgives us he forgives us of our backsliding he restores us he cleanses us he renews us he strengthens us and he pours his kingdom blessings upon us as sons and daughters of the most high God amen why would you not want to come home why would you not you know want to come running back to the father turn this alarm off time to pray <laughs> so all right the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty he will save he will rejoice over thee with joy he will rest in his love he will joy over thee with singing Zephaniah 317 that's one of my uh, favorite I can't talk favorite promises I love it picturing God singing over us rejoicing over us as we rejoice and sing over our little ones when remember when they were little so cute and adorable oh my gosh I sang and danced with every single one of my sons adored love them and um, it's the love of God and that's how father loves us you know he loves us so much he sing rejoices and dance over us don't let the enemy lie to you regardless of what you've done where you've been all you have to do is come home and father is waiting with open arms to love sing dance rejoice throw a party for you coming home to him amen and the angels of heaven will also rejoice hallelujah the Lord hath appeared of all unto me, saying, Yeah, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Jeremiah 31 3. One of my other favorite scriptures. This is what I put on my Facebook as my profile scriptures. I love it so much. Considering all the times that I was mean and angry, cursing God, running from Him, and he would keep on running after me even at the strip club he went and called me out of that strip club he told me in the bathroom while i was high and drunk at a strip club he said you are not one of them i have set you apart you are not one of those girls out there i have set you apart you know and um yeah there's no place that jesus won't go to to pull us out from any pits of darkness, death, and destruction. Amen. This is why it's like by his loving kindness, he leads us to repentance. This is why it's impossible to run from him because he won't let you go. He'll come after you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I will rejoice over them to do them good. And I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. Jeremiah 32, 41. We love him because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19. I'm reading fast because I need to go. For the Father himself loved you because ye have loved me. And have believed that I came out from God. John 16, 27. When we love Jesus, our Heavenly Father loves us. Amen. And he blesses us. I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. John 17, 23. 
Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 16 and 17. This is why I'm doing this video in hope to comfort you and establish you in his perfect love. Amen. So continue to draw upon the love of God. Drink in his love. Amen. Walk in his love. Be confident that he loves you. He's not angry. He's not mad at you. If you need to come home to him, run home to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Come quickly in, thou heavenly guest, nor ever hence remove, but sup with me and let the feast be everlasting love. Come, let us who in Christ believe by Charles Wesley. Amen. Come quickly in. Come running to the Father. Come running into his loving arms today. Don't put him off. He loves you. I love you. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. Pray for my Ethan. He's not feeling great. But I told him, let's get dressed. Let's show up. Tell the coach you don't feel great. But at least the coach will understand that we showed up. Amen. I love you guys.